first print with the solid oodle. This is uh, completely the way it came out of the box. No changes, just uh, loaded up the filament. Took the cover off so I get it filament easier. Uh, checked all the axes. Um, yeah, pretty much nothing. The bed is not level. The bed's way low on the front side. Uh, but uh, I'll deal with that soon enough. I figured I'd just see how it prints out of the box. And all I did was uh, fire up uh, the printer interface and click print essentially. So. Here's the interface rolling through its thing. This is uh, actually one of my AML caps. And uh, so far, I'm liking the way it's looking. It, uh, let me capture this. It's starting to look pretty good. So I did a little raft and uh, no loops around or anything. I, I have. Uh, Repetier, or however it's pronounced, installed, so I'll, I'll try that next. But for now, this is the beast. Looking real good. Long time coming. This is the Solid Oodle 2 expert model with heated bed, so let's see how it turns out. So, here, uh, here's some of the, the prints that I just finished with the, the Solid Oodle right out of the box. Made myself a, a scraper for getting things off the print bed. Some tweezers, which uh, I think could use a bit more infill. My AML caps, which I... Um, sorry, the camera is really, really bright. I'm not sure if I can turn that down. Um, these are the, the first, first prints of the AML caps for the Learjet. And... Uh, there's still some the raft material still stuck on them. Uh, that stuff's real bugger to remove. So I, I, I'm just using the original Pronger Face uh, Solid Oodle software, which um, I'm not real familiar with how to remove the raft and whatnot. Um, I have a Repetier set up, or however it's pronounced, and uh, I can do a lot more. I can print right on the bed, so I uh, won't have that problem. I did find out, I tried to print a little horse keychain, started off really good, everything was working good, and I found out don't turn the bed temperature down. I knocked it back to 60 degrees thinking I was safe, and it promptly lifted off the, the print bed. But uh, And um, some of these, uh, it's a, a bra clip, bra strap clip, and girlfriend has these things, and uh, they're like 10 bucks for a couple of them. Print that out, no problem. So, all in all, the uh, solid oodle's working great. Uh, right out of the box, everything's just tickety boo. Uh, bed is definitely in need of leveling, but uh, belt tension and reaction of the steppers and everything seems to be pretty good. The uh, I'll go ahead and level the bed as soon as I gotta go digging in the in my heap and find some. Uh, find some nuts. I think they're M4-ish for the bottom of the, the bed. So I don't have to go through the captain and, and use the Allen head on the top. I'll adjust them from the bottom. So I'll just double nut them and then I can raise the front of the bed where, where it's quite a bit too low. Not a big deal on small prints though so far. Obviously it's it's working great. So. Um, got the cover off for the meantime until I make sure everything's working good. The spool holder is working great. It feeds no problem. I suspect there's going to be quite a bit more drag on the, the case once I, uh, once I put that back on because you can see the loop in the filament, how high it is up and where the extruder head is. So I've seen other people printing with the cover on, no problem. So I've seen a reason I can't. If push comes to shove, well... I can cut through the top and make a feed that way, but uh, all in all, uh, the magnet doesn't stay on the door very well, and actually it stopped sticking at all, so I think that thing's pretty much baffed, but no biggie. I think I'll print out a extruder fan uh, holder, and then uh, get ready to move down to 0.1 millimeter prints, but uh, yeah. 
here's the solid doodle right out of the box. Everything worked really, really well. Uh, no complaints. Can't believe how well it worked, actually. So, anyhow, working good.